Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will see how to create something like this very abstract. A bunch of lines uh, getting attracted towards the center. So this will be very abstract effects. And in this process, we will also learn QRotate, uh, which is a VEX function, which is used to rotate objects in any axis that we want. Okay. So we will put down a geometry node. We'll create a circle and a subdivide node and I will give two subdivisions. So why I'm doing this is I'm getting this uh, interesting point positions which kind of looks like a pattern instead of looking very uniform. So I'll just extract the points from this. I will delete the polygons. So we will put on an attribute triangle and see what this Q rotate is all about. So for, for the Q rotate to work, it needs a quaternion and some other attribute uh, that we are going to use to manipulate stuff. So the first uh, first thing that the Q rotate needs is a quaternion. Okay, so quaternion is nothing; it is a vector four attribute or a function. So if you are writing a quaternion as a function, we will write vector four and the name. If you are going to write the quaternion as an attribute, we will write p at instead of v or f we'll use p so we'll create a quaternion and we'll name it as yeah, something so the one function is called quaternion and it needs two value the first input is angle and the second input is an axis okay so angle is a float value it is just a number like a, and the, Axis is a three-dimensional uh, vector, 3D vector. So, angle, comma, axis. And now we'll create this uh, two variables that we are using here. So we have created the values that we need like this is an, this is angle this this is a float value and this is axis like along which axis the point should or the, or the object should rotate this will be x y and z okay so but this actually doesn't uh, that uh, does not rotate the object so we need another function called key rotate to actually do the rotation so we will write v at p is equal to q rotate and Q rotate needs two variables. One is the first one is the quaternion that we created here, something, and the second one will be like based on which attribute we are going to manipulate this. So we'll use position. Okay, something comma we add. P. So now if you see, when we increase this angle value, it rotates on the x-axis because we have kept x as one. If you want to rotate along y, this will be one. And the same for Z, okay. So in our case, what we need to do is we need the points to like kind of come towards the origin and then go back. We can use this, uh, we can use just use uh, transform and some noise, but this gives good result actually using Q rotate. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to this. Uh, create a separate axis attribute and it will be a noise that runs from minus to positive and again positive to minus. Okay. So we'll put down this uh, attribute noise now and we the attribute we can call it axis and we'll set the value it will be a zero centered value and the element size will have it like a little bit higher value 7 7 something like and we'll also have it animated but the pulse duration will have a 
higher value not definitely not one no uh, not one and one will like what will happen is it will give like very uh, smaller details and the noise is actually faster okay so we don't need this we create so we created a attribute called access so instead of this variable we can just use that uh, attribute here at access and we will uh, we will animate the angle we'll have a very low value so we'll divide it by like very high value so the actually doesn't actually move very fast so if you see like it is kind of like moving towards the center but not exactly in a circular way it has its own noise and shape so now we can put a trial node so this trial node what it will do is it can it can be used to do multiple things like calculate velocity and uh, like we will use connect as polygons okay so what this will do is it will connect the points positions between them with polygons so we will increase the trial length something like this work well for me but there is an issue we need to close this row or else it will be creating like a entire polygon so now we have lines so what we have to do is we have to click this evaluate within frame range so the actual curve starts from within our frame range okay so if you see it kind of does this it's not very smooth we can put a smooth now and we can increase this value drastically if we get what we want so what we can do is we can put a polywire node and actually convert the curves to polygons so i hope you all like this video please leave a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, consider subscribing to my youtube channel and my patreon also i'll continue to bring some amazing coding stuff to you all thank you